hey guys welcome back to another pine script video tutorial series video and today in this video we're gonna talk all about series form and its types okay in our previous video we discussed about the constant form and the literal form but now in this video we're gonna talk about the series form and how you can use series form and what are the rules that you need to follow while using or assigning series form to a variable okay so the first thing is it is the most common form in pine script because because most of the things in pine script are in the forms of series okay and it changes during the script execution because it refers to multiple values in the past or historical data right so in a simple terms if we take the close of our candles in up in our chart so all those values of each candle the close of each candle will be stored in the form of series okay and we can refer back to our uh, store data by using this operator okay and it basically stores a sequence of historical values associated with the bars of the main chart as I just said okay and it can be accessed using the operator square brackets and what we do is basically we type in the number or the reference number that we want to refer to so basically the most recent candle starts from zero okay and as we keep going backward the number keeps going towards one two three so like if i want to get the data for my current candle i would type zero okay and if i want to get the data for my most recent candle or the second last candle that would be one okay so by using that or by doing that we can refer back to the previous candles by using this syntax okay and you cannot overwrite the historical values because once the candle is closed and the price has moved forward or the chart has moved forward there is no way you can rewrite that data okay it will be stored in the form of series and you can just refer back to it but you cannot change it okay and all these are examples of series because open is also a series form because it stores the data for all candles high low close and the volume and also the time these are all examples of series okay and every time you reassign a variable with this syntax it changes and therefore becomes a series so basically whenever you let's say if you assign a variable so let's say you assign a variable z is equal to 4 now if you reassign it and let's say if we put condition if open is greater than close then we want to reassign this z3 okay so like if uh, this condition is met then we want to reassign z as 3 right but its previous value is 4 so when we do this type of thing it basically converts this variable into series as well because now the condition is checked every time and we are reassigning it a value of 3 as soon as the condition is fulfilled all right and any expression that contains a series variable will be treated a series itself all right so let's say if we talk about this expression so this contains close plus thousand so this expression contains a series which is basically close so this whole variable will be now treated as series there are different types of series just like constant there are different types of series and those can be series int series float series string series boolean series color series label and series line and also series and a okay we have discussed each type about each type in our previous video so please refer back to them if you need to understand how these types work right or what do these types mean so here we have some examples of you can also confirm if a certain variable is series by just hovering over to that and you can see that pop up it says type series float okay and here we can also check the open it says current open price type series okay and here if we go to c it again says the series because like it's close plus thousand all right so this will now be treated as series and here we are assigning the value of open of our most recent candle the open value of most recent candle to this variable d so 
we are using this one in order to refer back to the most recent candle let me just show you on the charts so this one is basically our zero candle this was one and two three and this keeps going all right so when we refer to zero is basically referring to this candle which is not complete yet but this one candle is the most recent candle and it is complete okay so you can refer back to candles by using this syntax okay so in the next video we're going to talk about the input form and we will go over how you can use input form and its different types all right so please also make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos and also please press the bell icon so that you will be the first one to know whenever we upload new content see you guys in the next video thank you